Ah uh, man, so in today's video we're gonna be talking about uh the hybrid races that are actually gonna be dropping in type so or supposedly have already dropped, but I don't think they already dropped, bro. And I'll let y'all know later. But before we go any further in the video, I do want to let y'all know I'm gonna be giving away a ton of stuff on my Discord server, including stream of Ryatsu, Shard of Ryatsu's essences, and even Robux. So if you guys have any questions about the video or want a chance to win any of that stuff, just make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You must be subscribed, but you can't win any of these giveaways. And on the Discord, both are completely free. Anyways, on with the video. Anyway, hybrid races are now a thing in Type Soul, and this is actually something more exciting that people think now there's just more slots that you can make you know because usually people just have one of each slot and that's that usually suffices but now there's three more slots that you can make quincy car anomaly and vasto quinn uh and basically this is just a variant for all three of the races that are mixed in with another race quincy car is for quincy's and so quincy and a wrong car and a wrong car is between soul reaper and a hollow and a vasto quinn is between a vasto car and a quincy so yeah man that's pretty cool um and this video i'm gonna talk about how to become it which uh you will we actually no one knows but i'll get into that later um and i'll also talk about how it works in other games as well mainly peroxide because peroxide has the most notable quincy car and hybrid race system uh, out of any bleach game so i'm just going to be comparing this game to the other game and kind of giving us a hint of how to find out how to actually do it and um while we're on this topic let me just talk about why no one knows how to actually become one of these hybrid races um because i've asked helpers they don't know I've asked other content creators, they don't know, and even some developers seem to not know. So I don't think anybody really knows, uh, or a very select few amount of people know how to actually get hybrid races in this game. So it's either something that just isn't implemented into the game yet, or it's something that we have to find out on our own and it's gonna take a while. The reason I say it might not even be in the game is because uh, there are a lot of things, especially in like the Halloween shop that aren't even in the game. Uh, so this could very well apply to the hybrid races but again we don't actually know so i'm just gonna leave that up to you guys to figure out um i actually have tried to figure out for like an hour or two myself by looking at every other beach game and how to do it and i'm looking around all the npcs uh, i was specifically looking for how to find out or how to become a quincy car and eventually to no success because i was just running around trying to find a rep npc or a new npc that could turn you from a vasto car into a quincy i ended up not even finding the npc and type soul has no like rep system so uh, it, it can't really work how peroxide works over on this topic let me just explain how peroxides work so basically for peroxide you just become any any type of car rate race like a mental scar a vasto car or a wrong car doesn't really matter uh you become one of those three and then you just get your quincy rep up uh, by defeating hollowed and, and pu putting them in a certain jar and then after that you turn it into the wand and rake npc and after that he allows you to become a quincy so that's how it works in peroxide and i thought it would be a similar system in type soul because that just makes sense so i went around looking for a new npc and to no avail there really is no new npc so the actual way on how to get it is currently unknown so i'm gonna hop off of this topic for a little bit what i actually do want to talk about is the actual races themselves and the information we have about them so we're gonna go through every individual one and talk about its benefits and its letdowns, you know what I'm saying? So obviously having a hybrid race is better than not being a hybrid race. So there has to be some sort of cutoff or some sort of makeup for this at power. So they actually decided to put that in the form of a 20% sub mode drain, 25% mode drain, and you can now use ultra skills, 10% debuff in ranked PvP. Now, the most important thing in here is you cannot use ultra skills because all the ultra skills in this game are broken. So by not being able to use the ultra skills, you're automatically at a disadvantage. But what I think is different about this game, and I'll get into that, spe I'll get into that specifically when we talk about Quincy cars, is that I think like you get the variant of the race that you specifically are. So you could be a Quincy with proficiency, which would just be absolutely insane, especially if you run that with like Keto. So Quincy cars gain the ability to shoot bogan shots infused with a Seros curse. These Seros siphon HP from the target and give it to the user. And the base of a Quincy car is a Quincy. So you have to start off as a Quincy and become an Aron car. And again, this is another way that is different from peroxides because with peroxides you actually start off as a vasta car and not a quincy so and here is kind of the opposite and anomaly seems like the most broken one because you actually get all three races infused um because you get to use the quincy and hollow weapons alongside your shikai weapons so you get to use two weapons i guess so i don't know shit actually seems kind of cool i'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all a vasta quinn you gain an unstable version of lead steel drastically increasing your lead strain and your resurrection drain boost your vasta variant alongside lead's buffs while active so you're basically in a wrong car but you get lead steel which is better than the regular lead steel which is again broken but don't forget when you scroll up there are letdowns 
to this, uh, which is you cannot use ultra skills, 20% sub mode drain, 25% mode drain, and a 10% debuff and ranked. So always keep that in mind before grinding to actually become one of these hybrid races once we know how you do it. When we actually know how to become one of these hybrid races, I will be making a video on it. Uh, but until then, this is all we really have. This is all the information we really know about any of these hybrid races because it seems like nobody really knows what the hell these even are, what they do, how they look like, or anything like that. It's kind of just like an afterthought or something to really think about while we're waiting for the future updates to come out. And they said that throughout the months, we will be getting more content and more information about these uh, three hybrid races. So for now, I wouldn't really worry about them until someone finds out how to actually go ahead and do it. But yeah, once we figure out how to do it, I will even make a in my discord explaining how to become one of these hybrid races or i'll make a video uh so if you do want to be the first to know when you could become a hybrid race make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join my discord but yeah man just in general i really don't like how they're you know adding stuff without letting us know or adding stuff but not actually implementing into the game um and all the bugs with this update overall this update is pretty good but they just have to be more transparent with us and stop treating this game like it's a cc game it's one of the biggest games on roblox right now and they gotta start treating it like that and like bro just as an example it is bro like i was gonna make a whole video about this but not anymore because it's really not worth it but the new accessories bro from the items uh and the bosses from the halloween shop is actually crazy bro like i'll put up some screenshots of the items and they're absolutely insane and these weren't even mentioned in the thing i guess they didn't want us to figure these out um but yeah it's just i feel like you should just include stuff like this in the update log especially when there's items this good you're gonna be hopping into ranked with niggas with this item and you're not gonna know what to do because they're gonna have so much health so much reality regen and you're not gonna know what to do not only that they also added items in the shop that you can't actually buy which is crazy i'm not gonna lie the halloween shikai the halloween resurrection and the halloween shrift are all in the shop but you can't but you can't buy them which is kind of weird to me but yeah bro stuff like this is just kind of inevitable to happen with type soul so keep your eyes peeled bro and hybrid races is a prime example of this uh we actually don't know how to become a hybrid race they want us to figure it out and this usually means that something doesn't work, something's broken, and they're waiting to fix it for the for them to actually give us enough hints for us to be able to actually go find out how to do it. Like some of your own devs not knowing how to do it, it's a little iffy, bro. But you know, it's type so that what do you guys expect? They treat this shit like a CC game. So there's really not much to be said. Overall, this update is really solid though. I do like a lot of things they added, and there will I will be dropping a battle royale video tomorrow. I'll show you guys the best battle royale method and also some funny strategies y'all could do in the game to have a little bit of fun. Uh, so if y'all do want to see that make sure i go ahead drop a like and subscribe anyway bro that's really all i got for you on today's video man but yeah that's all i got for you on today's video if y'all didn't know make sure i go drop a like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one man peace out